if you want to see a child or a teen move the slowest possible speed, all you have to do is look to an intersection during morning rush hour, kids going to school. No slower pace will they ever be. So we've been having, not morale issues, but people at work just aren't hanging out, they aren't doing much, and you know, normally that's okay, but you're talking about people that you deal with like day in and day out in high stress situations all the time. So I've always, organized happy hours and usually I have them you know maybe once or twice a month and uh, I haven't started one yet it's been over a year since I've been at this company and I figured what the hell set one up and, and people were bugging me to do it anyway so um, second one second one we've ever done is tonight at the Phantom Carriage Brewery it's about six miles from work it's supposed to be amazing highly recommended by a lot of the people that that work there so I've never been it's gonna be a awesome time all around Dude, I'm driving through Gardena right now. I've got my air conditioner on, driving through Gardena, which is like Compton, basically, similar to Compton. Smells of weed, just my car reeks of weed right now. I don't even, I don't even see anybody smoke weed. The air in Gardena is just weed, weed air. I love breweries that are just totally nondescript. Check this place out. describe the phantom carriage the phantom carriage is like a halloween brewery a halloween Watch themed out. brewery that isn't too kitschy or isn't too halloweeny it's like just macabre enough like the thought of macabre not violent or bloody or anything like that and there's some there's some scythe around and some some blades and some interesting lighting and some interesting pictures and throwback to you know um uh boris karloff and some of the old you know um, actors of of horror movie past but it's not kitschy it's not doing it for the sake of being a halloween brewery oh my god Come on, dude. Look at this guy. This guy is blocking traffic with his stupid Chevy. And what's interesting is their beers kind of show that. They're, uh, they favor sour beers, complex sour beers with different uh, ingredients to make a very interesting, interesting flavor profile. Probably some of the more interesting, flavorful beers I've had in a long time. Their standards, their, their IPA, just straight up dry hopped uh, pale ale is good. Their IPAs are not amazing, but they make a sour IPA. And it's amazing, it's really, really good. It's an experience, it's something fun. And most of the beers are very low alcohol, so you don't really get this massive buzz from having them. Very cool place. New rug, laying on a new rug, and that like little Irish knot, Celtic knot looking thing. So, I got a box. Actually, I actually got a couple boxes, but there's only one that I actually want to open here. It's this kind of ominous box I got with this logo. I didn't know what that was about. From a company called Black Box. Sometimes I wish. Good that, lord, this is like getting so. Sometimes I wish that YouTube could hear how we bicker. <laughs> hey, allies. Hey, allies. Ready? Hey, allies. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. What secret, is that? secret Hitler. <gasps> In the wood box. Oh. Oh. Ruff, ruff, ruff. So when you said it was for all of us, you didn't mean our, like our family. You meant us and our friends. <laughs> us and our friends. <laughs> I was 
like. Look at it, it's like laser and gray. Ben, get out of the way. Ow. Wow. Secret Hitler. So what is the premise of this game? Someone is Hitler. It's and they're be, hiding it. It's gonna be you. Probably. <laughs> it's gonna be me in there, could it? You're right, you could be you could also be Hitler. That is true. You are the only two like you, know. you. The German, not so secret origin of German blood secret and white Hitler. people. I don't know. Is Jeremy? Is Uncle Jeremy German? German. He's, oh Jesus! All right, Edison. Edison tried. <laughs> we went to lunch today with my mom, mm -hmm. and Edison tried to shove a handful of salad in his mouth. There's a board for Secret Hitler. <gasps> secret Hitler is an advanced game. What? what? <laughs> Liberal, fascist, or fascist? Oh. This is a complicated game. This is... We're playing this on Saturday. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. We should just do a monthly game night. Uh, well, we also said we should do a monthly beer brew night. And, uh... That should be the same night. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Too bad our backyard is a travesty. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a print. Look at this, like, all wood. No wonder this game took so long to make. How much was it? I don't even know anymore. It was under $100, that's oh, for sure. Oh, my God, you spent almost $100. No, no, it was way under $100. It was under $100. Like, it was under $100. I want to tell you a story. Hold on, hold on. About our child. So... This game is amazing. I'm so excited. So... Ben, Edison, and I go to lunch with my mom, okay? And Ben says he needs to go potty. Mm -hmm. So I take him into the bathroom, or the restroom, and in the restroom, there is a mom with her two kids. The youngest one being probably a couple of the inches. The youngest one in curls. The youngest one was probably a couple of inches taller than Ben, mm -hmm. and she was wearing a private school uniform. Okay. Okay. So I take Ben to go and potty, and then when he comes out of the stall, he like says to the little girl who's waiting for her mom and her sister who's inside the other stall, he goes, hi, what are you doing? And then I'm like, come on, let's wash your hands, and I'm trying to shoo him out. Mm -hmm. And he's like, are you waiting? Just trying to talk to this girl. And then I'm like, okay, come on, Papa's waiting. So we go Nine! Nine! Okay. So we go back to the table, and then sorry, yeah, sorry, Ben sorry, sits you. down, and he goes, I have to go potty. Okay. And I'm like, he must just want to go back and talk to this girl or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I kind of ignore him, and then he insists that he has to go potty again, so we go uh, back to the restroom, and the moment he walks in, he's like, where's the girl? Wow. <laughs> I mean, she was a cute little Filipino girl. But then we were like, no, Ben. No Filipinos. Why would you say that? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I want to be a Filipino. There you go. There's like envelopes? There's like little, like, dossier envelopes. What? What is going on here? This game is so ridiculous. And there's like a little blue dot. I don't know what the little blue dot is about. I think you know. I don't. This, is, this is like the new, like this is the hot game. This game is like really nicely done, is it not? Like with, these are all wood. It is a done game. Fascists only win by electing Hitler as chancellor if at least three fascist policies are have already been enacted. Oh my god. Election. Nominate a chancellor. Get more than 50% of the table to vote Ja. Fascists only win by electing Hitler as chancellor. Jesus. This is a really advanced game. Yeah, I didn't even see anything that said Hitler. Like, who's Hitler? 
what if in the course of playing the game, everybody learns that they love fascism? <laughs> Fascism's got a lot of things going for it. <laughs> it's basically a bundle of sticks. <laughs> it turns out, this whole time I thought it was a liberal, but I'm actually a fascist. I'm actually a fascist. <laughs> I don't know. We're like cut from the same cloth. You know what, today's liberalism is not that far from fascism. Not that far, actually. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit that I wore yesterday. I just wanted to come home and change because I've been working on a video for the last like four days and I really want to finish it up. So uh, I'm just going to go back and kill it and finish it and I'm going to release it tomorrow with this vlog. So check the description. The link will probably be there um, or the title track, the, the ending credits at the end here is going to be linking to it. So go check it out. Tell me what you think, it's a big time different video than I normally do, and I'd like to know your opinion. So question of the day, go watch the other video and tell me what you think, either there or here, and that'd be great. Guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa, <coughs> wow. So anyway, I mentioned it in the video, uh, I'm doing a release of another video tomorrow. It's a short video, but it took a lot of editing, took a lot of work to get all the shots together, and so I'd really appreciate your comments. So go ahead and do that over there. Tomorrow's Friday, going into a long weekend, gotta get ready, lots of stuff to do. All right guys, see ya.